offended that you're offended. <laughs>
you know, you have to be careful how far you take it and how often you're doing it and how many excuses you're giving yourself. So I am all about making all foods fit, but at the same time, we have to be realistic with our health and with our goals. And so if I keep having four little Snickers bars every day, you bet your ass that can be exactly what prevents me from seeing the changes that I want to see. And I think a lot of people are very naive to that concept. You know, and people might say, oh, you're just a rigid eater or you have food rules. No, it's not about that at all. It's literally about the consistency that it takes to see results. So I want you guys to be honest with yourself. And throughout the vlog today, I will give you guys some more tips. But for now, I have to get... This little muchacha has got to get to work. So we'll see you in a bit. With all the food that's going to be around the start of this holiday season, you definitely don't want to be getting caught up in emotional eating because there's just going to be way too many opportunities to really impact your progress or your health, honestly, if you're dealing with your stress that way. So finding other ways of coping and handling your stress is critical. So first thing you need to do is identify what your triggers are. As I mentioned, sometimes for me it's stress. Um, things don't go my way. I get stressed out or I have an interaction at work that I don't really care for. Things like that. You can feel a little stressed out. So finding other ways to cope with that other than reaching for food is going to be extremely helpful this time of year. So for me, a couple things I like to do if I'm able to is one, take a few minutes to journal. You know, instead of eating your feelings, get those feelings out of your head. Feel what you're feeling. It's okay to be angry, upset, happy. Um, any of those feelings, it helps me to just let it out somewhere. So whether it's taking a notepad and just starting to write stuff down, sometimes I email myself or I pull up a Word doc and I just start typing because sometimes you just need to get things out of your head onto paper. Um, or, you know, on the computer, whatever. And you can feel a lot better just getting it out, just kind of venting, not even to anyone. You know, sometimes stuff stuff you get stressed about it just seems silly. You don't even want to, like, bog people down by complaining about it or venting about it. So just journal it. Let it out in a different avenue. Something else I really like doing that helps get my mind off stress is substituting it with something else. You know, whether I go shopping and actually spend money so maybe that's not good if you're subbing out one one addiction for the other although it's not really addiction but you get what I'm saying but even for me just like going to the mall walking around getting my mind off things um, is something for me that's calming and relieves stress and so I'm not led to like stressy the other thing I like to do too is sometimes just do something mindless like, it's good to feel how you're feeling. It's good to come to terms with any of those feels. But sometimes you just need to get your mind off stuff, you know? Like, going to work all day long, being in relationships, working on your goals. You know, we deserve to have a little mindless time. And so for me, I've been enjoying my mindless time watching Netflix. Your girl is hooked on Gossip Girl. I started a while ago and didn't get very far. And now I'm like addicted. If I have 30 seconds or 30 minutes to like sit down and like watch the next episode, I'm all about that. And it just kind of takes you out of reality for a bit. There's nothing wrong with that if that kind of helps reset you and refocus you a little bit. I know for myself too, I did yoga last night for the first time in forever and I I never doubt how much it helps me mentally and in terms of my health too and my goals. I really feel I'm just at a better place after I do yoga. You allow yourself to spend that time removing all other thoughts, hopefully, and just focusing on your body and focusing on what your body needs. And the class I took was really hard. It was actually a really challenging workout for me. So it kind of got me motivated to do yoga a bit more just to keep improving and keep working on it and to keep taking care of my body. I guess that's what yoga does for me. It motivates me to you know, be more focused on taking good care of my body, not just always thinking about aesthetically how it looks, how lean it looks, or not lean, and all that kind of stuff. It takes me back to just focusing on um, 
feeling healthy, feeling strong. How do my joints feel? How do my muscles feel? How much tightness am I experiencing? All those things that, you know, to me, the older I get, the more important they are to have a healthy, fit, athletic body that feels good for as long as possible. You know, as old as I get, I want to be one of those old people that can still walk around and move good and work out. I want to be one of those little old ladies at the gym that people are going, man, she's badass. So those are just some things that kind of kind of help me out with de-stressing and staying focused. So I am here at the mall right now and today I am going to go do a little shopping for my trip to Halloween Horror Nights. And if you guys are not already subscribed, I want you to do me a favor and check that out right now. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and if you really, really like me, then hit the little, the little ding-a-ling, ring my ding-a-ling so that you guys know when each and every video is posted. I usually like to buy myself a couple new outfits for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, a lot of people ask if we dress up in costume for the event. We never really have. Sometimes we'll, like one year I wear like a little corset and a little funny hat, but for the most part we just kind of dress for comfort. We always talk about dressing like Bill and Ted from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, but we've also never taken the time to do that, so I guess it's probably not happening this year either, but I'm going to see if I can find a couple new little outfits to go on vacation with, and I don't think I really need anything else, so that's good. And we're going to see how my new Steve Madden boots hold up. I love going on vacation in October because as someone that lives in New York, all the like summery stuff is on sale right now. If places still have any in stock, you can get stuff really cheap. So it's always a great time to be shopping. And I'm in Lord and Taylor, which is one of my favorite stores. You can get really good deals here if you wait for the right time when they have coupons and stuff. So. what I'm talking about. They got shorts still. Well, we're walking out with nothing. That was a bit too stressful for me. A little too rushed. I didn't show you guys anything because I did not like the way anything looked. So, just not happening. I might come back later or maybe later in the week. Shopping really disappointed me today with nothing really fitting me right, nothing really looking that good. I swear these department stores purposely make the dressing room mirrors make you look worse, which makes no sense because you think they'd want you to buy their stuff, so if anything you think they'd manipulate it so that you look like better than what you really do. <laughs> but so I was just having one of those days where everything I tried on I was just like oh god is this really what I look like I don't know I just wasn't really feeling anything I was trying on I just kind of wanted to get a couple dresses for the trip I feel like dresses are very easy and when it's warm out going like walking around I don't know I'm pretty comfortable in them so I don't know that I really want to put that much more energy towards trying to find clothes. I definitely have plenty of clothes, don't get me wrong. But I guess I'm asking you guys if you have tips on what I could get online. We leave Sunday. You guys are going to watch this on Wednesday. I'm thinking maybe of just like checking out Amazon Prime. Just, I've never ordered clothes off Amazon, I don't think so. I don't know, just wondering if you guys have any last minute shopping tips you can give your girl, be much appreciated. Who knows, maybe I'll stop at the mall again, maybe I'll just like hit up Marshalls or something, I don't know, but I'll be fine. We're only going four days and just like to have some, some new attire for vacay. Looks like the weather is going to be nice, it's like anywhere from low of 50 to high of 79 while we're there. So weather-wise, it looks really good. No shopping. I feel like it's been an unsuccessful day. I don't know why. I just didn't 
didn't get things accomplished I wanted to today, but not every day is going to be checking things off your to-do list. So, you know, I got a couple things done and I'm going to focus on that and uh, <clears throat> move on. My Halloween tip, don't eat all the candy. Don't eat all the chocolates. All the chocolatey chocolates. I already started editing this video. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring my man candy into the video. Man candy? <laughs> what candy am I? Candy corn? Maybe that peanut butter Snickers I ate the other day. That <laughs> shit was good. Jason always has like candy around. You always have candy I have candy a whole drawer for of candy and I don't eat it. It sits there as a backup if I never need a backup. And some of us can't. We just can't have it sitting How there. to stay lean all around, all year round? Well, no, just like coming you gotta into wanna the holidays. Be lean all <laughs> I obviously care about what I look like, you, but you, there's like this, this like level of like, okay, like I was saying with being stressed out, like if I'm stressed out and there's candy around, am I gonna stop and go, yeah, you don't wait care. a second. You don't hmm. care. See, How I'm, am I gonna look in a bikini in a week from when now? I, when I get stressed, I don't like see that. I don't turn to food when I get stressed, so I'm, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not there. You are the yeah. opposite. You don't eat enough. I won't eat. Oh, I lose my appetite. And then he loses weight in like two days. Can we quickly interrupt this? Go look at her Instagram post from today. And look what people wrote. There's some people that, you know, don't don't take her so seriously. Then there's people that are just like completely butt hurt and can't take a joke or can't take something being funny. Basically, you can't say anything in 2017 without offending someone anymore. Right. And especially if you have a credential attached to your name, it apparently means you have to be 100% professional at all times. And that's just not. And, and walk on eggshells around every around single every situation. Around every issue, every word. Word, ever you it's not possible in some way or another someone's gonna find something wrong with what you say and rip it apart and it's stupid to me when you post something that you just find funny and puts a smile on your face and then people are getting all offended and making you feel like shit and attaching it to the fact that you're a dietitian like I think that's I think that's shitty all right I'm offended that you're offended <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> That's my personal Instagram account. Like I, it's cool that people are motivated by stuff I do, but you also have to remember like everything I put on social media is not like backed by my RD credential. Like this isn't social media's fun. I started my Instagram because I liked working out. It had nothing to do with my my career. So going into a tip with her Instagram post, yeah. don't eat like an asshole. And also, just don't eat like an asshole. Chill the fuck out. Like chill relax. Out. And if you do eat like an asshole a bit, like be okay with it and like move on from that shit. Yeah. Just move on from it. Like don't beat yourself up. And or you'll eat like an asshole every day. You'll do it every day. I've done it before where if I beat myself up, it doesn't make things better. Just go back to normal eating the next day. It's all good. Relax. We all need to relax a little bit. <laughs> I need to relax. We're both tired. We're I, need, I need to figure out somehow to relax. We're gonna go. I'm the worst at relaxing. He really is. If he's sitting here for two hours without me entertaining him, he's bored. Been really bored, Kara. <laughs> okay. Been really bored. Wait. <laughs> sitting around all day. It's. Because I'm waiting for her to stop getting ready for three hours. Because, uh, three hours? She's like, what do you want to do on Saturday? I'm just going to make plans. She'll get home about two hours after me. About three hours making this beautiful face no, up. No, not like, three holy, hours. Holy shit, I don't want to do anything now. Excuse <laughs> me, I get home, I have to eat. And then he'll be like, can you take the dog out? And I'll take the dog out. Because I've already taken like, it out 10 times. He'll be like, Kara, come here, look at this. And I'll get that 19 times. Like, come here, you I have a lot of, this. I have a lot of cool things that I need to show her. So it's like, I don't, Kara doesn't just get to come home and get ready. I also have to entertain the man, the Bruce. I gotta, I gotta feed the, the body, this, this majestic organism I have here. Snickers, apparently. And then, <laughs> <laughs> Fueled body by Snickers. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Anyways, and then I try to look pretty for you because I look and like a do. shrunk every day at you work. You do. Because I don't care what those people think. You have sexy hair. Do I? Not sensual. That's gone. But sexy. <laughs> 
taking it back a couple vlogs. You like how I do that? It's going for a circle here. We're, we're gonna good. piece it out right now. We're done. That was a big ramble. We're piecing it out. Peace out. Out. Peace.